Simon, is that you? Where else is it gonna be? You've been ages. You said you were just gonna be a little while. I know, yeah. There was this craft fair at the church today, so I just dropped in. I got you something. Oh, really? Let me have a look then. Yeah, I knew you'd like it, so I got you it. Oh, wow. I hope it wasn't too expensive. No, look, it's it's not special. Just, just take it. I love it. Thank you. Well, it, it's nothing special. I just knew you'd love it when if you were there, so... It's lovely. Still in silver. It's all woman makes them. They were all sorts, but, you know, I saw this one. Well, thank you. Do you want a cuppa? No, nah, I've just had a Red Bull. Oh, you said you were going to cut back on those? I know, and I will. It was just one. Besides, what's it going to do with you? I know, I'm sorry. Listen, I was thinking we could get a takeaway tonight. Sure, whatever you want. Chinese? We had Indian last week. Fine. Or pizza? I really don't care. Are you okay? Yeah, just get a pizza. Okay, well, I found a flower. It came through earlier today, somewhere on the high street. I think it's here somewhere. Hope. I think it's called Giovanni's or something. Hope, I need to talk to you. Look, if it's about the other night, it's all right. Understand, things are stressful for you. I get that. You see, that that's another thing. I really shouldn't have done that. Don't worry about it, it's almost gone. It's just, I... Forget about it. I have. You know, when I was out today, I was thinking about you. About us, how we are. You'd have loved it today, you know? The sun was shining, the park was busy with kids, playing, feeding the geese. People walking dogs and having picnics. <laughs> that this really cute dog, really fluffy. You'd have loved him. Okay, and? And I just think you should have been there. That's not what we agreed. I'm all right here. No. No, you're not. Honestly, I really am. You think you're fine. Because I've convinced you that they're fine. But I'm wrong. You're not. It's not good. It's not healthy. What are you trying to say? There's a world out there. A whole world and you're not getting to see it. Because of me. It's a dump out there. You said it yourself. My world is here. I'm fine with how things are. It's safe. Safe. This isn't safe. All of this is dangerous. I could do anything. And no one would ever know. I don't even know how it came to this. You shouldn't be here. You never should have been. Look, we've been here before. You did what you did because it's how you are. How you're wired. I totally get that. Fifteen, for God's sake. You were so pretty, so innocent, so trusting. And I lied to you. It was just so easy. And you trusted me. I do trust you. Well, you shouldn't. Why the hell would you trust me? You didn't know me. Didn't your parents warn you about people like me? For Christ's sake, they had one job to do. One job and they didn't even do that. If I had a daughter, I'd go out of my way to protect her. 
I know, but they obviously didn't care. You do. No, I don't. It's a lie. It's always been a lie. Lies. Lies are so destructive. Lies led to where we are now. It wasn't planned or anything. It was just a decision made in a moment. But once it was made, there was no going back. I know. I understand. You had no choice. <laughs> yes, I did. I always had a choice. Stop being so fucking understanding. I had a choice and I chose this. Why would anyone in their right mind choose this? I can't do this anymore. I thought it would work. It does work. We're happy, aren't we? This, this isn't happiness. This is some sort of weird, fucked up. I don't even know what this is. I'm happy, so let's just leave it, okay? You're probably just having another one of your off days. Listen to me. It's not just today. It's been a while now. I need help. I can help. <sighs> Proper help from a professional. Okay, okay, we'll sort something out. We'll get you an appointment with someone. There's bound to be someone online, a therapist or something. But we'll do this together. Together? There is no together. There is no us. Don't you understand? This has got to be on my own. Simon? You have to go. Why? Because you shouldn't be here. You know that. For God's sake, Hope, do you never listen to a word I say? Don't get angry. I just want to help. The only way you can help is by going. No, I want to stay. I'm not quitting now after all we've been through together. Go home. What if this is my home? It's not. It is. I love being with you, believe me. You take care of me. Go back to your family. Can you imagine them welcoming me back with open arms? They didn't give a stuff about me. They didn't even know I existed. It was always Lucy this and Lucy that. Whenever I managed to accomplish anything, it wasn't recognized. It's like I never did it. Why can't you try to be more like your sister, Hope? Do you think you could do any better, Hope? You were the one who rescued me. Saved me from a life of mundaneity. You were my knight in shining armor. Simon, you did the right thing. There's no way I'm going back there. Shut up. You have to go. <laughs> You're just saying all this. You hate me. You must. You need to take this and go right now. What the hell was I thinking? Fifteen. But Simon, don't. Please. Stop it. This isn't making it any easier. I'm sick. I'm sick in the head. I know that. You know that. To do what I did. Jesus Christ. But that was then. Things are different now. Are they? Yeah. What the hell is wrong with me? You're just a kid for Christ's sake. I'm 18 and I can make my own choices. <laughs> no, you can't. You do whatever I allow you to do. That's the truth. For the past three years, I've got some kind of sadistic kick out of knowing I can make you do whatever I say. And you do it. You just do it. <laughs> you still do. You're scared of me. That's why you don't run. That's not true. I stay here because it's my home, our home. 
don't want you to be scared of me. I'm not. I took you. I forced you to be with me. To do That's things you didn't want to do. You just let me. I could have gone any time I wanted to. You didn't lock me in. Then why didn't you? What difference would that make? You'd have come after me and found me soon enough. You knew where I lived, you knew where I went to school. And if not me, then some other girl would be here in my place. Someone who didn't, who wouldn't care like I do. You just need love and understanding, Simon. And that's why I'm still here. You don't deserve this. You really don't. You're such a good person. I have no right depriving you of so much. You should have been in the park, feeding the geese today. You should be out with friends, enjoying life. I took all that away from you. Three years of freedom and experiences. You've been in college now or something, probably studying something clever. You could be anything. No matter how I feel, I can't do this to you any longer. I've already packed you a few things. Look. Here's Stop it, Simon. Here's some money for the tax. No, I don't want it. You need to get out now. Please, Simon, don't do this to me. I love you. I know you love me too. You're making a big mistake. Why won't you just do as I say? Get out, please. No. Get out now before I... Then do it. I would rather you did that to me than make me leave. I don't want to go back there. There's nothing to go back to. And I can't be without you. I swear, if you make me go, I'll do it myself. What? She... You can't just say that. Fuck, I can't do this. I need you, Simon, to take care of me, to keep me safe. I'm evil. You're not. You're the most beautiful, wonderful person in the world. You're thoughtful and kind. You need me as much as I need you. Just stop it. You're a stupid, naive little girl that's been brainwashed into thinking, oh, oh, this is okay. But it's not. You know it's not. You're not that stupid. Is, is this some sort of sick game you're playing? You're enjoying this, aren't you? Making me squirm, making me spell it out for you. Biggest mistake I ever made was seeing you that day. Watching you, following you, and now... You were 15, for fuck's sake. A child. But you made it so easy for me. The way you dressed, you smile. That flirty little laugh. You will all know what you're doing. You're all whores. You ruined my life. You turned me into this monster. You killed me, you bitch. You need to get out of here. Get out of my fucking life. I hate you. I love you too. What the hell is wrong with me? Why do I need to do this? Why am I so fucking messed up? What sort of sick bastard does what I did? You're so young, so innocent, and I stole that from you. I needed, I needed power, power over someone else. I'm obviously so fucking weak and pathetic that I would stoop to such, such vile actions just to feel some sense of value. 
What a complete and utter piece of shit. I can't go on. I can't live with this mind. This this poisonous mind that turns everything wonderful to shit. The world would be better off without me. You would be better off without me. You really must hate me for everything I've done to you. I'm sorry. God. I'm so fucking sorry. If if there was a way back, a way you could forgive me. I'm so sorry. I really don't deserve you. I really don't. Your your understanding, your your compassion, your love. What what do I do now? It's it's all I have left. What would you do if you never even had that? Lies. Simon lies are so destructive. 